Nichols family here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And I got a riddle for you. What's got 10 thumbs and is going to Utah? This, this family. family! This family! We've got so much camping gear and so many kids, we're needing two cars to get to the airport nowadays. <laughs> All right. For two weeks and uh, we're gonna be visiting family my in-laws are here so the kids are gonna get to see grandma and grandpa and we're gonna go out and do some camping and we're scuba diving and catch crawfish fossil hunting it's gonna be a pretty awesome two weeks Well guys, we made it to Salt Lake City, but it's late. I've got a lot of bambinos to put into bed, so I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's 7.30 a.m. and we're already using the first aid kit. What happened? Uh, you were playing with the treadmill, weren't you? Yeah. So Tommy, did we learn a lesson about not playing on treadmills? <laughs> Don't put on full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Got a lovely breakfast here. Are you guys hungry? Yep. Yeah, well, we're gonna go dig up a whole bunch of fossils today. Yeah. Oh. What are you, an egg vampire? What are, what are you doing? Yeah. Nathan, what have you taught your brother? This is your side of the family, Becca. Your <laughs> side. I'm like a butterfly. That's the flower in the all right, we're going fossil hunting out in the desert. It's gonna be so hot. So we've got these little kid-sized camel packs for the boys. We're gonna fill them up with ice and a little bit of water. And they're gonna have that cold water resting against their back, which will cool them off. And then of course, it'll keep them hydrated too. In the wintertime, you can do the opposite and fill your camel pack with hot water and then just wear it underneath your coat and it'll keep you super warm. Let me look at you guys. Oh yeah, you look like desert explorers. All right guys, you ready to dig fossils? Yeah. fossils near Hinkley, Utah. This is one of the best places in the world to find trilobites. And we're gonna find tons of fossilized trilobites. These things are 500 million years old. And then you guys can grab some buckets right over here. So you guys, do you have your buckets? Yeah. Here's our cheat sheet. Brachiopod. This one means it's just the shell. And this one means that it was buried alive. Come on, boys. There's a little piece. So there's a piece of one right there. Again and again. So we can't split it anymore. I imagine this is how you guys would end up after you go to prison. Hey Becca, you find one? I found one. Good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a there's a piece of one. Which rock did you see? Oh my goodness, Tom. Look, look at over. that. Look, also look at that one. Look at the, look at the size, size of him. Those are huge. Oh, hold. Check this out. That one's whole. It's wholly intact. Wow, that's see, awesome. See, look at that. What's up, Oh, look, there's a piece right there. Yeah, 
caution there you go there's there's a little one right there oh there we go there's some some pieces right there look at that it's the whole trial bite sticking out right there you can see him I do he told me look at this one hey that's at least that big yeah he's huge Yo, J Jacob found you found it. this yeah look at that that's a turtle bite shell they shed their shells and the shells get fossilized Look really up found some crystals look at those those are pretty Yeah, there's one right there. Oh, I found one! It's the That's whole entire cool. body! It's small, but you can see the imprint underneath it and yeah. then the skeleton. Oh, yeah! Jake, you having fun? Yeah. You tired? No. You tired, Mama? I'm tired. <laughs> well, we got a lot of trial bites. Let's take them over to the tables and see what we got. Oh! oh. That one. You see the. Oh, that one's huge. You can see the skeleton and then the padding underneath it. Yeah, it's, this is my best one right there. This one will actually fit in my check bag, so I think I'll take this one home. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like you got the symmetry there. Mm -hmm. So that's the ones you want to bring home? Yeah, and then the rest I'm giving to Grandma. Ooh, that was Butterfly oh. wing effect there. Well, me and the family had a great time digging up these fossils. If you guys want to come here to you dig fossils, I'll put a link down in the video description below. I love you, be safe. Okay, goodbye. Love you. I love you, baby. Love See you, you tomorrow. Well, me and Jake just said goodbye to mom and brothers. We're gonna head off into the desert to do some camping. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we are gonna go check out some cool stuff. We are gonna be camping in lava caves. Check out some lava tubes. Yeah. Why don't you put on your backpack here, okay? Look at this place. Look at that. That's crazy. You see another lava tube? Now don't get too close to the edge, okay? Sun's starting to get low. We gotta find our campsite quick. Can you look up? Uh, oh, give that a shot. There you go, bud. Yeah. Uh. All right, let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Well, this ceiling looks pretty solid up here and you can see there's no rocks on the ground so nothing's fallen off the ceiling in a very very long time so i think this is where we're going to make camp all right let's uh 
All righty. You know, the great thing about sleeping in a lava tube is you don't have to worry about staking down your tent. Heck, the only reason why we're using a tent here is so that we don't have any scorpions or snakes or mosquitoes biting us in the middle of the night. I'm seeing one and I'm gonna bump it right in the house. Oh, you And that is not a song wacky as always. Got our beds all set up. Shall we get some dinner? Are you hungry? Yeah. All right, I bet you are. Was that you, Friday? Yeah. I'm Friday. That looks like that's boiling. Do you want beef stew or do you want lasagna? Lasagna. Of course you want lasagna. Does that taste good, bud? Yeah, you're eating some lasagna. <laughs> hey, Diggy, would you like a roasted marshmallow? So. There you go. You like your marshmallow? Oh, there's a mouse. There's a mouse running around the bottom of the lava tube. Now I'm glad we have the tent. Oh, there he is. Yes, he's he, right there. He just ran up. All right, bud, let's get ready for bed, okay? Slide on down, buddy. Yo, is that cozy? Yeah. Well, other than all the little creature noises, we had a good night's sleep. Uh, Woke up a couple times because I could hear a mouse chewing on a log and the bats would come in and make their little squeaking noise and they'd be flapping right above the tent. Well, I'm gonna let Jake sleep in as much as he can because that boy needs his rest. But as soon as he's up, we're gonna eat a quick breakfast. And uh, then we're gonna go and check out some really cool stuff. There's some sand dunes and dried lake beds and some cool rock features and even some historical sites nearby. We got a full day of exploring the desert before we can go back home. Morning, Jacob. <laughs> Got some blueberry granola with milk. Excited for some breakfast? Yeah. Here you go, bud. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Would you like? All right, shall we go back to the car? <sighs> we got a couple hours of serious 4 by 4 to do. There's just miles and miles of these lava tube formations. I mean, more than you could ever explore. Just look at them. We could hike for days out here and never see all of them. oldest boys Tommy and Nathan they're in school still so that's why it's just me and Jacob camping out today my boys are stuck at home doing online school but uh, school's gonna be out here in a week or two and then we're gonna have the whole crew exploring and camping and doing adventures with us This whole desert we've been exploring is part of an ancient lake called Lake Bonneville. And it used to be the size of about Lake Michigan. And right up there, that hill, that hill is an old volcano and that's what caused the lava tubes. About 15,000 years ago, it exploded. Some pretty cool geology here in Utah.
Look what I just found. That's a mule deer antler. Oh. A nice one too. I'm a deer. You're a deer. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful place. Just saw this little rock formation, decided to go up and check it out. I'm so glad I did. All right, let's keep moving. Hey, look, a little cottontail rabbit. You right there? See that bunny? Jacob, come check this out. But right up there, there's a big pile of sticks. That's the nest of a golden eagle right there. See, look at that. It's a little jawbone of some animal the eagle ate. Got the bones of little birds and mice and stuff from the leftovers from the eagle's nest. Tell you what, that was pretty cool. Look at that. Hey Jacob, look what we got ahead. We got a dry lake. <laughs> I speak sheep! That's the first car we've seen in 24 hours. Guys, this is the Topaz Mountain Japanese concentration camp from World War II. On this location, Thousands of Japanese Americans from the West Coast were taken from their homes and relocated to the desert here in Utah and forced to live under guard and barbed wire for the duration of World War II. This is where the internment camp hospital was. You can see kind of the old roads and it's all set out in a grid pattern. This thing was the size of a small town. Japanese spies and saboteurs had helped the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor. And so when World War II started, the US was afraid that the Japanese spies would do the same thing on the West Coast. So all Japanese people, whether they were Americans or not, were rounded up and removed from the West Coast and forced into settlement camps like this one here, out in the middle of nowhere. As far as your eye can see, it's old abandoned roads and broken foundations. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Well, this is taking a lot more time than I thought. It's getting late. We need to get headed home. All right, we're back. Did you guys have fun while I was gone? Yeah, we went out of farm and had a ball. Tommy. Tommy actually took a GoPro and did some videoing at the farm. So we decided to stop by Historic Wheeler Farm so the kids could see some animals and run around and play. I actually like the way you look at it. Well, we're here exploring the farm while Luke and Jacob are camping. You gonna you wanna ride on this? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Choo choo. Let's get right in the way. Woohoo! Oh, look at the cow. Yeah, that's a turkey. It's not a baby donkey. Donkey. Yeah, I like it. There was so many cows. Oh man, that was so much fun. We're back. <laughs> nice work. Swimming. So we're gonna go meet up with Luke and Jacob and go get some dinner. You guys ready to go to dinner? Full? Oh, good morning. It's another wonderful day and uh, the boys are doing their online school. Got a little breakfast made here and a little bit, I'm gonna take Jacob and go run a few errands because uh, we've got some adventures coming up. And one of the big things I need to do today is make crawfish traps. All right, Jake, you, you ready to go to a big backpacking store? I was looking to buy a specific sleeping bag and I'm coming here to backcountry.com. It's one of the biggest outdoor gear retailers in the country and their warehouse and retail store are here in Salt Lake County. Look at this place, it is huge. All right. All right, so what they do is they got these computers here. We go in and search their entire website for any of their products and uh, then we tell them and they go into the warehouse and pull it for us, so. All right, let's see if I got it right. All right, there we go. It's kind of nice because there's a lot of high ticket items I've wanted to buy, but I didn't really want to buy them without checking them out physically and touching them first. So come here, check them out, get them. Well, tomorrow me and Jacob are going to go on a catch and cook camp out. We're going to try to catch a bunch of crawfish. So I've got some chicken wire here and I'm going to go ahead and try to make some crawfish traps. <laughs> Then we go and we squish. Here is the word test. Guys, I'm gonna go dig. Some got this white cereal. Wait, they like cereal? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's a Kodiak grizzly bear. You've got to feed these, huh? There's a tiger. That's a crocodile, yeah. Look at that tiny thing. Oh, check it out. It's a liger. What's a liger? It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Bread for its skills and magic. Saiga? American alligator. We we ate one of those. This is a buffalo, and remember, we've slept on the buffalo hides. Next door. Did you want any ice cream? Ice cream! Let's get some ice cream. That looks awesome. It's double oh my goodness, Becca! Fluff and nutter. It's graham cracker, caramel, and marshmallow, right? Peanut butter too. Oh, and peanut butter. You like your chocolate? Yeah. He <laughs> uh, was pretending to shoot you. Oh, that's where mommy and daddy met, right there. Hey guys, look, a playground. You want to play in a playground? Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. I'll pull it over. I'll pull it up. All the things we do, all the adventures we go on, they like this more. <laughs> Let's go have dinners with cousins, shall we? We're just sitting here at a Mexican restaurant with my niece, Gwena, and my nephew, Spencer. Uh, both of them are down here at college from Alaska. Just having a nice, nice day. I need to poop. You need to poop? And Spencer's friend here is eating the largest burrito in the world. What is so big. That is. That is you! I can help with that. I can help. Well, Gwenna, thanks for coming. Of course. All right. Hi, Hi. Uh -huh. All right, it's past your bedtime, guys. We gotta get home, get you to bed. Well, guys, it is a nice, relaxing day. I am sitting here editing up videos, and the boys are doing more online school. Tomorrow's the last day of school, so almost there. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, don't eat toenails before lunch, buddy. It's still ruin your dinner. Put it with ice cream before now. It's how do I? No. Come on, it's good. All right, guys, you ready to go to the museum in Antelope yeah. Island and stuff? Yeah. Tommy, you excited? Yeah, I recognize some of these games, some of these planes. Well, Tommy's pretty excited about airplanes lately, so we're here at the Hill Air Force Base Air Museum. F-117, that's cool. That's the Gatling gun. Look at the size of that bullet. Maybe that kind of stuff? Oh, no. First sighted. We're not supposed to touch. Look at him keep on falling. <laughs> Look at that. These are nuclear bombs. That's a replica of the first atomic bomb ever. This is like a dream come true. I always wanted to see all these army planes. Well, we're headed out to Antelope Island, which is in the Great Salt Lake. And uh, so we're gonna go check it out. Maybe see some bison. You can see where the water's all receded. The water used to be all the way up to the causeway. And in case you're wondering, the Great Salt Lake smells like Nathan's farts. Not good. If you wanna go swimming in the Great Stinky Salt Lake, you can do that. But it's the water's receded so much, you gotta hike pretty far ways before you get to the water and then you have to wait out even further before you get deep enough to be able to sit down in it. All right guys, who wants to eat a buffalo burger? Me! Take a bunch of bites. Try the buffalo burger, Becca. It's like a burger. Yeah. You want a giant corn dog, bud? Yeah. 
There's the buffalo on the side of the road. Well, after Antelope Island, we got the kids back to the house and in bed, and me and Becca are going on a date. We're doing some fine dining. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at Log Haven in Mill Creek Canyon. And look at this scenery. Ha, beautiful place. This is pretty. You think of this view, huh? Look at that waterfall. We got our appetizer, Korean fried cauliflower. Oh my goodness. Okay, that cauliflower was amazing. I am so gonna figure that recipe out and try that at home. Oh, Becca, that is quite the meal. Look at those pork chops and bacon Brussels sprouts. I've got an elk steak with a currant jam and some what looks like couscous. That is so good. Oh, good. I really like the bacon Brussels sprouts. They're really good. Baby, did you enjoy that? I loved it. That food is great. <laughs> the company was the only thing better than the food. Let's go! Jacob, we're here. We're in the Uinta Mountains of Utah, and we are going to kayak out to that island where we're going to be fishing, catching crawfish, and camping. Oh, this water is crystal clear. Look at that. Dad, I thought you found a lot in the water. We're here. Yeah. First thing we're gonna do today is set out our crawfish traps. And I've got these baby carp here. And uh, we're gonna chop those up and use those as bait. We also have some chicken legs as bait. Okay. All right, we got each trap set with a piece of chicken and a piece of carp. We're gonna go see if we can't catch some crawfish. <laughs> we should be able to see them in the rocks. Oh, there's one, see him? See, he's, oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Okay. You ready, Jake? Yeah. You know, throw it, throw it out there. The there you go. All right, we got all the crawfish traps set, and some of them are just covered in crawfish already. And uh, I think we're gonna catch a lot of crawfish. Ah. All right, bud, hop on out. Yeah. Uh-oh, I think I pitched a tent on top of my cooking pot. Yep, that's right. Jake, you want to fish? Yeah. All right, you, you got the bite alarms? Yeah. There. I'm going to put it right here. Hey, Dad. So I got my rod set up in these bite alarms. Anything comes and hits it, makes a nice loud beep. So me and Jake can mess around with our stuff, and if a fish comes along and bites, we're going to hear it. Well, I've got a little boy who is hounding me to go check the crawfish traps. Isn't that right, buddy? You wanna go check the crawfish traps? Yeah. They've only been soaking for about an hour, but it'll give us a good idea of which locations are producing and which ones aren't. Oh, no. You pull it, grab that bottle. Pull the string up high, fast. Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, I see him, I see him. See, pull up the traps, look at the traps. We have some! Look at this! Look at it, some nice ones too! It's here! This is definitely a volume! Pull it up! Alright, look at this, here we go! Let's do 
grab the bottle and you gotta pull it up quickly. You pull them up, throw it over there, right there. All right, another crawfish. That is a lot of crawfishes. Are you excited to eat them? Yeah, that lobster been in battles with lobsters. And That's a few of them. I'll do a little snack. Here. Do you see them armored? Yeah, they, they're so armored. Look at this. Yeah, look at these. Hey. See, if you grab them behind the shoulders, they can't pinch you. Unless, of course, you're doing a crawfish fight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look at this. He's pinched you. Let go of him. See? He's pinched your life jacket. See, that's why you always wear a life jacket while crawfishing. Here, watch, I got it. You, you, you don't mind picking them up, do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That lobster. Hey. You come see. Yeah, throw them in there. There you go. Oh. There we go. All right, you ready to eat some crawfish? Yeah. Anything that's crunchy, you just remove. Now, there you go. A little bit of tail meat. Jake, you want to try that? Yeah. They're really hardcore. You suck the mustard out of the head. Mm. That's that side. Good. Oh. That's the freshest seafood you'll find in Utah. You want to, you want to eat the corns? Uh, That's their poop. Got some inside. We're eating their butts. I'd like to catch a ton of crawfish on this trip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the traps soak until right about bedtime. Then we're gonna go out in the kayak and pull the traps, rebait them, throw them out, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning we're gonna have a ton of crawfish. But we got a couple hours before bedtime, so I think uh, me and Jake should digest in the tent and watch some cartoons. Now sit down and we'll take your boots off so you don't get your boots on the on the sleeping bag. I'm not all You're an earthworm? Yeah. Oh, we got a fish! Woohoo! Oh, look at this! What a lovely trout! Look at that! That is a nice, healthy fish! I think we need to have some trout with our crawfish, huh? huh? That is a nice fish, look at that! Oh. Well, that's awesome! I want to go catch some more of those! We're going to eat the trout tomorrow, and I want to keep it alive until then. So I grabbed one of my crawfish traps to put the trout inside it. And, uh, man, look at this. We are loaded. So I'm just going to take the, the trap. So there we go. Oh, there you go. That should work. There's a fish! A fish! Oh, look at it! Oh, look at that beautiful sucker! Oh, you put up a better fight than that rainbow. What a beautiful fish. But uh, I ain't gonna eat him, so let's... Bye bye! Oh, that was awesome! Camping with Jacob on a beautiful day, kayaking, catching crawfish, catching fish. It's nice. All right, the sun's almost set. We're gonna go pull all of our crawfish traps and rebait them and see what we got. Oh, there we got some, a few, we got a few in there. Throw back in the fish. Oh, look at this. 
There's even one on the string. <laughs> oh, only one. Oh. All right, uh, we got another five. We pulled six traps, rebaited them, and the sun's about to set, so we're gonna head back to camp and uh, get ready for the night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a good pile of crawfish there. I accidentally ran over this with the kayak and the trout got out. <laughs> All right, buddy, hop into your bed, okay? It's supposed to be in the 30s tonight, so uh, we'll see how we do. But uh, I think we'll be we'll be in pretty good shape. <sighs> He's so scary. I'm a human. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'll tell you what, guys. It is no joke cold right now, and it is getting colder. I am using every bit of this sleeping bag, and I'm considering putting on some hand warmers or a fleece. It, it's cold. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, I just realized if I hook a fish, I'm gonna have to get out of my sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, I just had another fish on and lost it, but it's uh, time to go to bed. So I'm gonna reel it in and uh, get snuggled in my bag. It's so cold out here. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, here we are. We're at my folks' cabin. Well, while Luke and Jacob are camping at Strawberry Reservoir, we're gonna camp in the cabin. Rebecca, Tommy, Nathan here with the Loot Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Are we ready to do this? Yeah, we're gonna be having an awesome time. Get up, cowboy. Well, guys, you want to eat some pizza? By you, okay. While the boys are on the four-wheeler with Grandpa, I get to do a quick watercolor sketch. I'm not done and I have to work fast because I'm losing my light, but it's fun. Fun little break. I have to discard. Okay, it's your We and a, a full. Good night, boys. Bye. See you in the morning. Bye. The next day. Oh, good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. I can hear little man starting to stir in the tent. Hey, good morning, Jake. Good morning. You sleep well last night? Yeah. You stay warm? Good. What would you rather do first? Eat breakfast or check the crawfish traps? Check out crawfish traps. <laughs> I thought I knew the answer to that. Gonna go get crawfish in our jammies. How cool is that? Oh, look how many there are in here. Oh, man. There was like 20 in that one. There we go. You did pretty good, bud. <laughs> oh, this one is pretty good. Oh, beautiful and calm today. Exactly what we need. Well, there we go, that's that's not bad. I mean, that's a meal right there. Some nice ones. You want breakfast? How about blueberry granola? You okay with that? Oh, yeah. Home. Well, I called my wife and my in-laws to tell them that we got some crawfish etouffee coming their way, and uh, all of them gave me a resounding no thank you. So, we're gonna let all the crawfish go. Those are cool. What a neat place. But uh, we're gonna go home and go see mama. I'm 
sorry, buddy. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna try again, but this time daddy's gonna be more careful. How about you going, Dad? Then I'm going. <sighs> See? <laughs> Was that better? Yeah. <laughs> if you're soggy and you know it, clap your hands. Is it funny that daddy wet his pants? Yeah. No. Oh, well, that's it. We're on the bottom. Here, I'll get out. There you go, bud. Jake, did you have a fun time? Yeah. Even though I dumped you in the water? Yeah. <laughs> well, we made it back to the house, and my oldest boys are done with school. So it is the beginning of summer break for our whole family. I'm going to just be hanging out at the house for the rest of the day. I got a bunch of editing to do, but uh, we've got some more adventures to do. But this time, we get to bring the whole family. You know what time it is? Fajita. Yeah, it is. Taking a little editing break to make some fajitas. Oh, yeah. How much, how much, what, no. You like your fajita? I'm so scared. Well, now we got a little food in us. We're going to go up to a little mountain lake and do a little walk around. over a hundred degrees down the valley and there's a patch of snow. Yeah. All right, you ready to go on another date, Becca? Yeah. All right, let's go get some dinner. We're going to a place called Tiburon. Pork belly and some onions and some brie, nice. Oh, Becca, what do you got there? It's chicken with, with grits. Look at that lamb with a blueberry reduction. Oh my goodness. That was delicious. Stick with me, baby. You'll get fat. <laughs> well, it's been a lovely low-key day, but we got to go inside, face the music, and mm -hmm. put our kids to bed. So we'll see you guys in the morning. We're going to change things up a little bit and do something different. Becca's going scuba diving. Yippee. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the Homestead Crater. It's this big mineral deposit makes a hollow dome and inside is a heated hot spring and we're gonna go snorkeling and scuba diving inside. It's a long time, so... It's 20 years. Close to the water. Okay. Let's go on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Check it out, this is the crater. This thing is deep. I think it's like over 60 feet deep. And it's always around 90 something degrees. It's warm in here. This is the deepest water you've ever swam in. You guys want to go to a bakery? Yeah. There's a place over here that sells pistachio eclairs and it's closing soon. So we're going to try to go get one for Becca before she's done with her scuba class. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. 
What do you think of that, Tom? Like that? That actually is not called ice cream. That's called gelato. What it is? That is good stuff. Hey, babe. I did it. I passed. <laughs> did you have fun with your scuba class? I had a great time. It was really fun. Oh, great. I'm glad you had a good time. I did. You look good. You look like you oh. know what you're doing. Oh. Very bubbly. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> scuba diving, Mama. Uh, I did it. <laughs> hey, Jacob, was it scary when Mommy went underwater? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like scuba diving to work up an appetite, huh, yeah. Becca? You'll still have to oh, help. Oh <laughs> my goodness. You'll still have to help me though. This is huge. <laughs> Kaya. Kaya. Well guys, we've got a lot of leftovers. It's been a great day. But we're gonna hit the sack, get the boys to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. That you can put Thank you. Well guys, it's another lovely low-key day here in Utah and we're just hanging out at the cabin and I'm doing editing and the kids are riding on four-wheelers and uh, Becca's gonna do some painting. Nathan, grab a plate, grab your food. Yeah, and they play football in Florida. In Florida, do you guys like Mom to come camping with us? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we had a lovely time, but we are packing up the car and heading down out of the canyon because we are going to a drive-in movie. Ah. We're doing our very first drive-in theater here and it's ridiculously affordable. It's 10 bucks for an adult, $1 for kids, Jacob's free. So 22 bucks, our whole family is doing a Saturday night movie. They got the parking lots slanted up so you can angle the car just like that. We're gonna fold down the back seats, get out the, the camping gear and the pizza and the kids are gonna sit here and watch movies up past their bedtime. Wait, did you guys want some snacks? Yeah. Oh, I might have got some. Popcorn! Here, grab that thing. Mmm, you're liking those, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I as good as I remember. <laughs> this, this is yeah. nice. I wish we could do this every weekend. Dad? All right, so we just tuned the radio to 95.9, and uh, once the movie starts, we should be able to hear the audio over the car speakers. So, Tommy, what do you think? You like that? It was awesome. You like a drive-in? Well, guys, welcome to another beautiful day, and we're all in the car ready to go on another desert camping adventure. guys we're here at Bicknell Utah at the Sun Glow Motel and Cafe where they have the famous pickle and pinto bean pies so we ordered like six different slices of pie here and we're gonna try all the different flavors plus a couple traditional ones and uh, get some lunch oh, pinto bean pie buttermilk pie pickle pie and oatmeal pie we're gonna try a little bit of each I'm gonna try the pickle one first. Hey, Mark. That is really good. It tastes a lot like a, a very sweet pumpkin pie. You wanna try the pickle pie? Yeah. You like that? Daddy? Mm -hmm. Wow, like a pumpkin pie, doesn't it? Good. I'm gonna try the, the pinto bean. It tastes like a pumpkin. I can get my head around it. That bean pie is really good. It tastes like a coconut cream pie almost, but with like a mild flavored onco or a zuki bean in it. Really that mm, the oatmeal pie is good. If you like oatmeal cookies, you like oatmeal pie. One. This is a buttermilk pie. Oatmeal pie is really good. Ooh, the buttermilk is almost like a lemon meringue pie if you took out all of the lemon flavor. That's good. Smooth. Bean and the buttermilk are my favorites right there. What's your favorite so far? Buttermilk. <laughs> All right, we got a good old-fashioned blueberry a la mode and strawberry a la mode. Oh. Really fast. Fine. Fine. Oh, so many leftovers. We're gonna have to go on a big hike to work off all that pie, guys. Look 
guys, there's cows everywhere! Check it out, it's one of the few places where you'll have a cliff on both sides of the road. But we are now in Escalante National Monument. And check out this view. Look at these canyons. Holy mackerel. Escalante National Monument is kind of the unknown hidden gem in Southern Utah. But if you want to get away from the crowds, this is the place to do it. We're in the desert now. The temperature is a blistering 93 degrees and uh, we're going on a 3.2 mile hike to a couple of slot canyons. I have no clue whether we'll make it or not. Uh, mutiny is a little bit in the air right now. We're going to the Peekaboo Slot Canyon and Spooky Slot Canyon, which if you are new to hiking and new to canyoneering, these are great places to start. The only way I convinced Tommy to come along is I told him there's a good chance we might see some lizards. All right, we've been hiking for only eight minutes and Tommy's asking if we're there yet and Nathan wants to take a break. This is not a good sign. Walking for eight minutes. Hey, look at this guys. It's cow poop. What? You see, there's not, there's not much firewood around. Ah! So they'd use buffalo poop and cow poop as their fire. Well, here, here, Tom. Are you tired? Yeah. Okay, I got something that'll help you out, okay? Run, I'm gonna throw rocks at you. Ah! Yeah. Hey, uh, run faster! You too, Nathan! Ah! That's it, run! We're having family bonding time! How you doing, Becca? There's the slot canyon right there. Well, we came to the spot in the trail where there's a bit of vertical and uh, the crew decided no. So we're gonna go see something else. Well, I'm a little disappointed we didn't make it all the way to the Sly Canyon, but honestly, I'm just really excited Becca's going camping with us. So I, I really don't care. Well, we didn't quite get the hike done, but at least this gives us a little bit more time to see a few things and to get camp set up in the daylight. So, cause we, are taking mama camping. All right, this is the devil's garden. Let's check it out. Climb. That's cool and nice. Nice, do you see me? Beautiful terrain. I will live here. It goes way back there for quite a ways. There's a lot of these formations. Now we would this is cool, wasn't it? Cool. All right, I've got my two-man Z-Pack tent, and we've got uh, all three boys going to be fitting in here. And I'm just going to cover them up with two of these camping quilts. 
All right, Becca gets my Thermarest Mundo King and my camping quilt. And uh, I'm gonna take the air mattress and the Yeti sleeping bag. Yeah. All right, guys, how you like that dinner? It's good, thank you. Cold salmon and get with it. Well, guys, it's late. The kids are in bed where everyone's fed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for coming camping with me, baby. I'm glad to come. I really like the camping quilt. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. You have a good night's rest? Oh, yeah. It felt like 90 degrees last night. It's perfect. <laughs> that boy likes it hot. <laughs> Becky, get a little painting done? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. A little quick sketch? <laughs> nice. Quick. Oh, thanks. It was fast. Mm. Thanks for okay. waiting for me. Beautiful place. Mm. All right, guys. You ready to go to Goblin Valley? What? what? We're going to go to Goblin Valley. You want to go? That sounds it's scary. Oh, it's super scary. What? Well, that was just a fun little family camp out. And honestly, the highlight is the drive. Going down Route 12 through Escalante is one of the most scenic roads in all of Utah. We're really close to Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, Zions, Arches, Canyonlands. There's amazing national parks all over the place. But a lot of those are really crowded and frankly me and Becca have been to all of those several times. So we want to try something new. So we're going to go up to Goblin Valley. And the kids are really excited to see goblins. They only eat children, don't worry. They were children! Right, this is near Frida, Utah, and there's a bunch of petroglyphs up on the cliffs. See right up there on the cliffs, there's little drawings of people and stuff. That's a perfect size for me. There's actually places all over Utah you can see ancient petroglyphs like this, and a lot of them you can get a lot closer. Uh, over in Vernal, Nine Mile Canyon, and a few other places between here and Salt Lake. You see them up there? You see that one? I like that one. It's like 88 degrees outside. You want to take this off? That's what I took my we like heat stroke. There you go. Hey guys, you want to do a little off roading? Yeah! All right, let's do some off roading. If you like off-roading, there's plenty of places to do it here in Utah. Look at this. Well, this is pretty cool, but should we keep going to Goblin Valley? Yeah. All right, let's go to Goblin Valley. Welcome to Goblin Valley State Park. A ton of stuff to do here, but uh, we're overheated and lazy, so we're just gonna drive through and enjoy it from the car <laughs> with the AC on. <laughs> All right, guys, here you go. This is Goblin Valley. And of course, the little rock formations looked kind of like goblins, so that's how you got the name. Jacob says he threw one of his shoes out the car, so he's only got one shoe on. So I get to carry him today. This place looks like the rock planet from Galaxy Quest. Don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! Hey, Mom! I like that 
<laughs> That's like what, 95, 93 degrees right I, now? I, 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 I know, it's hot. Oh, geez, I did not mean to jump onto this rock. That's you guys having fun? Yeah! Look at this place, it goes on forever. <laughs> there's a lot more to see here than just Goblin Valley. There's a lot of arches and camping, and there's even some really awesome hikes and slot canyons. But uh, as of yesterday, my family's adopted a no hiking policy. So we're gonna get back in the car and turn on the AC. Oh, if you were a desert fox, you would live here? Yeah. Oh. oh. That was cool, but hot. Hey. That sun just bakes that rock and you get down in there and it's like being in a solar oven. Oh. Uh. Well, Becca, you ready to do another date? I'd love to. Mm. Thank you. Are you in the mood for some Italian food, babe? I just love Italian food. I love Italian food. <laughs> All right, Becky, we got some more food here, huh? Some cheeses and some focaccia and some chili jam there. That looks nice. Cheese. There's, I think there's some candied pecans in here. What do you got? Chicken piccata? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Filet mignon. Oh, Becky, did you have a good date? I had a great date, thank uh, you. It's always a good day when it's with you. Oh. Well, listen, it's late, guys. I gotta go put kids to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi, Dad. C3, okay, we're good on this one. Have you had a good time at Grandma and Grandpa's house? Are you sad to leave? Well, guys, good morning and goodbye. It's the end of our trip here in Utah, and we're packing up and weighing the luggage and getting ready to head out to the airport. We've had a great time, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video. But if you guys wanna see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out our travel and adventure playlist with all of our travel around the world. And don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.